let's get rid of God and his church. That is the cry, thinly veiled, of so many people in Ireland, I think, right now. In certain media circles, in political circles, social commentators. Why do we need God? Can we not manage fine on our own and get rid of all this Catholic past with all its baggage? I was reading recently an atheistic historian by the name of Tom Holland. In his studies of ancient cultures, he noticed that, especially in Roman and Spartan history and other cultures, that the weak, the poor, the sick were not respected, that defective children were simply killed or left to die, that marriage was not respected, that women could easily be discarded, that men's sexuality went basically unrestrained, that slaves and their bodies were entirely at the disposal of their masters. And then Tom Holland, in going further into his studies, noticed that things changed with the introduction of Christianity, that marriage between a man and a woman is monogamous and for life that becomes the norm, that slaves have rights, that the weak and the sick and the poor are treated with respect. And the basis for what we now call human rights is laid and laid firmly. Christianity has changed everything. And then we look at our own society today, that the basic principles that we have are based on that solid foundation which Christ laid down in his commandments and in the Beatitudes. But we notice, if we look around Irish society, we notice things that have gone awry. We notice, for example, marriage and the institution of marriage, which of course is now is, can be open to any combination. We notice that marriage is not respected as, as it was heretofore. We have an enormous marriage breakup rate, which is, I think, approaching something like 50% now. We have children being discarded in a way which we don't like to admit. In the year 2019, 6,666 unwanted children were discarded in abortion in our hospitals. Is that a social advancement? Is that good for society? I ask the question. Is the position of women greater respected or less? I ask the question. If we look at the violence, the enormous rate of drug taking, we have to ask serious questions about where Irish society is going. I noticed just recently that the Mother and Baby Homes Commission report has been revised by 25 experts because the findings of the original report were not to their liking. And yet the very basis of these recommendations from these 25 experts is based on the very same human rights that are founded on Christianity. So we in Irish society today need to ask very serious questions. If we are dumping God and his church, what are we replacing it with? What is the basis for our going forward? These are questions which we have to answer. And what does the church do in all of this? Well, the church's role must be what the church's role always has been, to follow Christ. Not to give in to bitterness or become closed off from the world and build a barricade. No, no. The attitude of Christ is always to go out. 
we remember that encounter with Jesus and James and John who came back from a, a missionary uh, journey. And there was one particular group not accepting the word of God and they said, Lord, will we rain down fire and brimstone on them? And he gazed at them, uncomprehending. That was not his attitude, but he went on to the next town to preach, to preach forgiveness and mercy and hope and love. And that is what you and I must continue to do, to preach goodness and mercy and love and peace and Christ's truth, because that is the basis for everything that we hold dear. God bless you.